Today I just wanted to show you a quick demonstration on what to do if you tweaked a shoe or lost a shoe. So something to keep in mind is that the reason why we shoe horses is for protection, right? So if they've lost their shoe, they've lost their protection. And this earlier they're in their shoeing cycle, the less protection they have, the longer, the more protection they have. So it's a bigger deal when they've just been shod and they lose a shoe, then you need to put some more padding on it. If at the end of the cycle, it'll probably be okay, but we don't want them to chip up their foot. So this is what a typical shoe is going to look like when it's tweaked, yet still with a couple nails in one side, it's still going to be hard to get off. But a lot of times there's nails on the inside, so if this shoe is tweaked, this horse drives these nails back down the sole of his foot, now we're going to have abscesses from hot nails. So the best thing you could do is buy any kind of shoe pull-offs. Um, normal tools are pretty much useless in this, but just buy the nice, cheap one, whatever, just get some. So what you can do is you can just pop this, pop it, and the shoe will come right off. So we're just going to assume everybody went tight and didn't get one. So the next time your farrier comes, tell him, ask him if you can have one of his old rests. And what you're going to do is you're going to come up to the front and all you want to do is just rasp the nail heads off. You just want to make it to where it will pull out those holes nice and clean. So. You can try to pry it. A lot of times that won't work. But if you do have a rasp, one thing you can do is you can kind of work it in there and wedge it off like that. So now we've got our shoe off. Now we need to protect it. You can tell that this foot has a lot of foot left. It's at the end of the cycle. Not a big concern. That isn't always the case. There's a lot of, a lot of boots out there you can slap on. They'll protect it, won't tear it up. Um, one thing you can do is just, we need protection, right? So if you've got gloves, you've got paper towels, you've got a leather pad, bat wrap, whatever, just get it on there. Um, there's a lot of hoof packing out there that is really beneficial, that'll help draw out any soreness too. If you were to pull a shoe, slap that on there, wrap it up, and it'll help um, prevent or dry out any sores. So one thing that you can do is say you're going to go with gloves or a t-shirt or towel or something. All you'd have to do is put these gloves on here like that and then run your vet wrap all the way around it and hold it down. But if you've got some tape and you just lay it out in strips on the table, all you've got to do is come in here, place it over the top. Grab your roll, keep in mind it doesn't have to be pretty, you just don't want to tear his foot up and get him walking around on the sole and get him sore. Uh, there's a lot better ways to do that, but at the end of the day, as long as you're not hurting, hurting your horse, I think we're winning. Uh, if you have any more questions, go to my page, Ask the Farrier on Facebook, and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you, and have a great day.